Khalif Browder. Khalif Browder. Khalif Browder. Khalif Browder was arrested at 16. Stealing a backpack in a backpack. In backpack. In jail. In right. Solitary. Solitary confinement. Torture. Torture. And the torture. And three years on Rikers Island, trapped there without having been convicted of a crime. Khalif moved so many people. I just felt compelled to meet with him. I believe our prophets come in many shapes and forms. Sometimes our prophets come in the form of young, undeveloped energy that will teach all us grown-ups how to love better and have more compassion. And Khalif Browder was a prophet. The main thing I want people to take away from this project is the human toll of our broken criminal justice system. There's countless families that are dealing with this every day. There's countless individuals that we don't see. Conveniently, they're locked away. And many of them are suffering through things that Khalif Browder suffered through. They're in solitary confinement, or they're spending inordinate amounts of time in pretrial detention. And a lot of the times it's because of their income, and many of the times it's because of the color of their skin. You want to start talking about structural racism? That is a culture. And we've been doing it for years. All white Americans are benefiting from racism because that's how this country was built. It was founded on white supremacy. And stories like Khalif Browder reveal how folks of color have to grapple with that every day. The Bronx is really an epicenter of poverty in New York City. This congressional district was one of the poorest in the nation. They are the others. We allowed to exist just on the periphery of our own imagination. We're going to have to learn to care about them. White Americans need to sacrifice their privilege and they need to offer themselves to doing the real anti-racist work that needs to be done both in the media but in everyday life.